was never going to African parties, and I was always in the middle, you know, doing my COSA. Then all of a sudden, she started doing my COSA. I'm like, girl, we did you start doing this then? Some ladies, the minute they start seeing their period, they start taking folic acid and omega oil. Your friend will never ever copy, like want to be exactly like you. The diamond girl, the vampire girl. girl. You girl. look like a diamond. Am I sparkling, lady? Yeah. <laughs> you guys are looking good too, as per usual. <laughs> Thank you. I, really I love this outfit. I'm the lady in black for today, girls. Animal skin or Thank something, you. my goodness. Okay, just so you know, no animals were harmed while making this fabric. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, guys, to Girls Uncut. It's yet another really exciting episode, and I'm here chilling with my girls, keeping it real, giving it to you hot just the way. You know we know how to give it to you. And as usual, you can join today's conversation by hurrying up to our Instagram and Twitter handles at girlsuncut underscore. Now, today promises to be really exciting. We're going naked. We're going barefaced, okay? I'm like, Bev is looking at me like naked. I'm like, no, we're not going to strip. But today, we're talking about barefaced beauty and confidence. Now, I know you see all of us here with darling makeup but the question i'm going to pose to arike and beverly is like have you ever you know gone out without makeup and you run into a fan or one of your fans and they want to take pictures how do you react well all the time it happens to me all the time <laughs> but people who know me they know that when i wear makeup is when i come on tv but the arike the lady arike like the real me most times when i go shopping when i go to the mall when i go anywhere I'm never without with makeup. I'm always without makeup because okay. my skin has to breathe. Come on. <laughs> if I wore makeup 247, I mean I'm at work, I'm wearing makeup, I'm going out to my kids, I have to wear makeup. No, they know me. So and, and I don't feel any type of way. I'm yeah. confident in my own skin. Mm -hmm. I don't need makeup to validate me. I'm happy being who I am. So when people see me without makeup, the first thing they do is they're like, you know, they give it this. Look. Kind of look like is, is she the one? Is she not the one? And you know, a lot initially, like I'll I'll just look away. Or sometimes some people will say, "Oh, you look familiar." Oh no, you're not the one, and I'll just keep it moving. But now when people say, "Oh, you look," I'm like, "Yes, I'm the one." Oh, but you look different. I'm like, "Yes." Oh, you're yeah, without makeup. I'm like, "Yes." Mm -hmm. I don't wear makeup all the time. Mm -hmm. I feel good when I don't have makeup on. Wow. Come on, I'm happy. Oh, I'm, I That's like the way I look. This is my real face sometimes. But then, <laughs> but then I like to carry that real face Please. as well. You know, okay. just to let my skin breathe. Over to you, Diamond Girl. Uh, I'm one of those girls that cannot leave the house without yeah, makeup. Yeah. I mean, unless I'm going to a shoot and, you know, I'm about you to put on okay. makeup. But I always like to look good because I always feel like, man, I may run into somebody I don't like. And I don't want anybody to catch me. <laughs> Off guard. See, I don't. I'm not gonna put like a full face of makeup like I have now. But I'll have like mascara on. It'll be very light makeup, blush, mm -hmm. a lipstick, maybe a new lip, and my shades. You know. But I always like to look good because if I look good, then I know that anything that happens, yeah. I'm I'm good. Mm -hmm. You know. And I don't want my enemies to say, Ah, I saw Beverly. Hey, so no okay. okay. She's looking very sad. <laughs> hey, yeah. You're not going to do that to me, honey. Okay? So I'm mm -hmm. always looking snazzy. Yeah. You know what Everywhere they say? Looking good is good business. Yeah, Definitely, yeah. you should invest in your looks. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to buying makeup, some ladies, hey, have no limits. 
They want every product. They spend and spend and invest in so many products. Today it's bronzers, next tomorrow concealer, next tomorrow highlighters. When do you stop? When do you, you know, especially because we don't even know much about the shelf life of all these products. So at what point do you say, no, I'm not going to stop spending all my money on makeup? Does it ever happen to you, Beverly? No, makeup is so fun. I'm not really like, I'm, I know for a makeup artist, you know, that's yeah. what they have to do. But yeah. I'm not like one of those person that is so, in, they get intense when there's a new product coming out. But if it's a good product that I know for sure is going to give me what I want, then I'm going to go for it. But I just don't sit down and look and like, I got to get this, I got to buy this. I don't really okay. care. I'm very like, I'm simple, but then I do like to be dramatic at times. But like I said, I like to keep it simple for my everyday look. And when I'm going out to an event, you know, that's when I get really dolled up. But I keep it simple. Mascara, a lip gloss, some blush, and let's go. Okay. For me, I think the beauty bloggers are the ones who would go crazy when new products hey. come out. Like, no, so, you hey. know, she's one of those girls. <laughs> but but for don't me, be deceived. For me, I mean, for me, I, I, don't, I would never break the bank over makeup. Mm -hmm. I'm good with my, you know, once I have my powder, I have my yeah. good mascara, very good one that can elongate my lashes. I have my lip gloss or you know my nude lipstick or whatever with makeup i just i just have i have a makeup bag that has a lot of things that i don't really use because i get i get a lot of gifts a lot of makeup things and you know i just keep them I sometimes like, like you sometimes i give them out sometimes i don't even know what they're used for like when i see people like now so i'm like okay so i have this what's it used for oh okay yeah. so this is this oh, all right but i'm not i'm not so huge like so big on, on makeup oh uh, you can look good without makeup mm -hmm. yes. 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 let me tell good. you let me tell you guys what i do so i love makeup but I don't spend so much on makeup. I mean, for real. I have to take care of myself, pay my bills, <laughs> take care of my baby. So I have to be very practical. So what I do is I invest in quality products. Hmm. But those products are limited for certain days. You understand? And then for like regular days, I just use basic things. I can even just use like the regular um, drugstore brands. But then for special occasions, I go and use, you know, high end products, luxury, you know, foundations, especially foundation and powder. It gives you that extra finish. That's literally what even stands out, uh, makes the normal makeup artist stand out from the 5k makeup artist and i always tell people like there's 5k makeup artists and there's no offense to you guys i used to be there but i just had to tell myself like i can't transport my skill i know how good i am I, i'm not 5k makeup artist please if you want me you just book on a special level you know what i mean Talk to and i'll sister. use and i'll use those high-end products mm -hmm. you get what i mean so you don't necessarily have to break a bank they're actually some cheap drug stuff you know the first time this highlighting thing came i was like mm -hmm. god i was already begging one makeup artist that you should just give me his highlighter you know i really thought it was very expensive i was surprised to go to a drug store and i just saw it, it was 500 naira hmm. i kid you not you and i even had like four different shades and i was like ah, wow. this thing that i thought no. maybe i'll have to rob a bank to get you'll be so surprised the things you know the bargains that you can get when you just look carefully and you pace yourself you don't splurge your makeup because when you hear oh kylie is releasing a new collection or huda or whoever is releasing a new collection and you want to go oh, really? mm -hmm. yeah wow. mm -hmm. talk about fancy mm -hmm. it's crazy you could literally go mad when you want to invest in makeup mm -hmm. but today we're talking about being confident to wear your normal face on a daily basis and so i'm 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 here and i remember alicia keys so we all know Alicia Keys, she's a beautiful woman. Yes, and then recently she joined, I don't know, she started a movement mm -hmm. where she goes without makeup. Mm -hmm. And even when she's going on TV, she has some um, routines that she does to make blood circulate in her face. I don't know, they use like ice block or something to make her skin glow. And it's beautiful. She started this movement when she met a photographer. His name is Paolo. And he decided to take pictures of her 
barefaced. Imagine bracing the cover of a magazine with no makeup. But she on started that after she got her face done because you know she used to have a lot of bad acne. Mm. So I know if she had bad acne, she okay. wouldn't be posting her face like that. Let's so. just be real. <laughs> yeah, let's just be real. She she got her acne under control. Now mm. she's probably embracing how beautiful her skin is. But before she used to really have bad yeah. acne because she used to even be a spokeswoman for this acne company. Yeah. So Alicia Keys. Shout out to you. Shout well, out. you know the thing about these celebrities, I'm yes. not trying to say anybody's lying, but when celebrities say they go makeup free, sometimes right. I think that, you know, yeah. I think they mm, they still have yeah. some, they still you have know, something some, on. I, I feel they have something light on. Yeah. Okay. It might be oh, very light. Well, you know, you know just something kinda, to enhance, you yeah. know, all the right features and things like that. That's what I think. Alicia Keys, I'm not calling you a liar. But then I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I'm not, you know I we guess. have to go. Like, we have yeah. to take a quick break. When we come back, we're going to be talking more about barefaced beauty confidence. This is still Girls Uncut. You can follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Girls Uncut underscore. You can join the conversation using the hashtag Girls Uncut. Have you ever gone makeup free? Tell us how it went. And do you do it all the time? Tell us how it goes. We'll be right back, girls. <laughs> So, have you ever gone barefaced? Did you run into an ex or, you know, an enemy or a frenemy <laughs> when you decided to go barefaced? We would really, really want to know. Please hit us up on our social media platforms. We are at girlsuncut underscore on Instagram and on Twitter. As usual, I'm with my girls and today we are talking about barefaced beauty confidence. Have you, have you, have you ever done this before? Let me tell you what, there was this Sunday I woke up and I just was feeling some type of way. I went to church, I just dressed down and I ran into the ex. Hey! Hi. You see why I said what whoa, I said? Whoa. I will never leave my house hmm. not looking at least 80% good. Because you never can tell. You know, you know what saved me? He didn't know it was my real face. <laughs> okay. Hmm. He there didn't you know go. it was my real face. So oh I was like, hmm. you know when someone just looks at you, he's like, oh, this, this, this face looks familiar. But let <laughs> me just I like I, I just kept, yeah. you know, I just kept walking away. Just walk away from Stop that me. man. <laughs> it was it was crazy. But deep down, I wanted to be like, mm. oh, God, I needed to have shown this guy what he's missing. But I'm sure you were slain. No, so is always slain. I no. mean, come on. Even if you're not staying here, girl, you always slain here. I know, I know. Well, you know. Well, 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 in the context of what we're talking about, <laughs> confidence is key. As I always say, wear your confidence. Even when you're not wearing makeup, you need to wear that big smile. Mm -hmm. Like they say, a smile is the best makeup you can ever put yeah. on. And it's yep. beautiful, given to you by God himself. Mm -hmm. So, you know what? Just smile through it. Even if you see a crazy ex and you're not looking fly, just smile. I, for <laughs> me, I always look fly. Like, there's, there's never been a time <laughs> when I don't feel I'm looking fly. Even without makeup, like, I always feel fly. Mm -hmm. And the thing about me is I have three children. That's why I'm looking at Beverly when she's like, oh, I always have mascara. Girl, have five children. Never come. I was you so want, You want to have, like, seven. You want to have, like, seven. She wants to no, have, she like, to do nine. nine. She's going to have, oh, nine. Like nine. I can't beat my you know, mom. You know the thing? There are times when you have to leave the house immediately. Mm. And your kids have wasted your time. And you have things to do. For me, I'm more bothered about what I'm wearing. Like, you would never catch me on a wears. I always slay from head to toe. So, okay. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to makeup, man, it's hard work. Mm -hmm. Sitting down and you know painting my face and all that. That's like another one. But hour, light four, makeup, light minutes. makeup, like mascara. Have the mascara sometimes, in your bag. Yes. Yeah. Even sometimes, during like a yes. little yeah. pause, I always you can have just... my. I always have my lip gloss. That's what okay. I always have. Mm -hmm. Lip gloss. Boom. Put it on, and I'm I'm good to go. When I have time, I can do the whole mascara and mascara. put my liner, mm -hmm. and then you know maybe draw some. <laughs> Some brows, <laughs> but some, um, some Nike shirts. Some shutters. things, you know. Yeah. I try. I try my best, but it's not easy when you have kids and you're trying to achieve so much in so little time. Yeah, makeup is like the list on 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 my list. Mm -hmm. mm. It's like the list thing on my list. Nice. Yeah. Sometimes, list on your list. but I always sleep. I know mm. that's right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so Beverly. Where or how do you find the confidence to go barefaced? I mean, I will go barefaced once I feel like my skin underneath my makeup 
is like clear and beautiful. Cause me, like I don't know why I have like sometimes I can get really little, you know, little acne things around. Mm -hmm. Maybe yeah, during that too. monthly time, you know, when me that too. happens, ladies. Yeah, I don't know if you guys <laughs> get well, that, okay. you know. Yes, so I try to cleanse my face, you know, cause I really like to be free in the house or whatever. And you know, before I used to have really low self esteem, even around every day, every second of the day, I have to have makeup. But as I got older and, and really started to embrace my natural beauty, I toned it down. Like I can really even be around my guy while I wear makeup, but I used to never be like that, even around people. So no. I'm very self conscious, you know. Mm -hmm. I got made fun of a lot, so oh. he, he used Why? to really touch yes. me. You know, kids are, I was ugly. Girl, but now I'm like a I'm like a swan. I was like, so I, I was really awkward looking when I was little. Mm -hmm. You can't, y'all, I was awkward. Like my nose, my lips was big, you know. So. My face is already long, so imagine. Kids are oh. so mean. Even in America, calling you African booty scratchers Whoa. and stuff oh like that. Goodness. There was, my mom used to make like sell stockfish in the house. So we used to smell like fish going to school. And people were like, what is, what is that? What is that smell? And like, it's Beverly, you know, she always smell like fish. Oh so he's a beat up no. boy. Oh my no. goodness. He's always, no. he's always make fun of me. So he used to call me ugly, like big African lips. You know, I used to go through that too. My mm. nose, you know, I was very awkward, but I think I was a little bit cute deep inside there because I always yeah. had boys as my friends. And I was always around boys. I don't know, they used to like me. But as I got older, <laughs> I like like morphed, you know. So then I started to really embrace the inner side of me because maybe what was the issue was inside how I thought about myself. Mm. But then one day I looked in my mirror, and I was like, "Girl, you was cute. Yeah, like, what do you mean? Good. You know?" Yeah, very, very, so then yeah. now it's like, okay. And the guy, if he really loves you, he's gonna see you at your makeup. Mm -hmm. You know, yes. he's not gonna judge you. He's gonna even see you at your ugliest moment yes. when you're sick, mm -hmm. and he he's like, hey, you're <laughs> gonna and see you when you're in the toilet. <laughs> exactly when you've been yeah. pooing, girl. So I, it's like I'm better now because I like sometimes I rush to like take off makeup. I feel like icky, especially this hot Lagos mm -hmm. sun. Yes. So I feel like now taking care of your skin, drinking lots of water, wow. going for facials, putting the little black mask that pulls off the white heads mm -hmm. and stuff like that mm -hmm. has given me the confidence into now wearing so much makeup, makeup. like I used to. Yeah, so yes. I just usually just lip gloss, you know? Beautiful. Girl can never I'm let me touch so, me. You're, you're so beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. You guys are beautiful really, really too. Beautiful. Uh, I don't understand. Hey. So hot. Like guys. very hot. Boy. I, I, I want to see, see a baby picture. What's your baby picture? I want to see a picture. I'm always crying hair. looking mad in my baby picture. <laughs> oh, that's Beverly. That's so, Beverly in the picture. Yeah, everybody yeah. knows. I'm just that the ugliest sister. But now I'm the cutest. I'm one of the cutest. I'm awesome. But what do we have to say to people who are obsessed about makeup, makeup because there's some people who are obsessed with yeah. makeup like they, they would want. wake up in the morning the first thing they have is yeah. a full face of foundation powder and all of that like they can't leave their houses there's so many of them on instagram like they have to search like, within they yeah they have to search within you have to they have to really look and see why they have to wear all that makeup there's something that's bothering them inside mm -hmm. of them mm -hmm. why they feel like they have to paint their face all the time, especially that heavy makeup with mm -hmm. mascara, because there's people like that, and I know that they're battle battling with something inside. inside. Yeah, so, I do um, agree with what you've just said, but I'd like to add that right now there's a lot of crazy advertising where women have been forced to believe that if you know if you're not well contoured, mm -hmm. if you don't have a certain shape of eyebrows, then you're not it. You're not beautiful. Mm -hmm. I think it's just commercial advertising or whatever it is and this idea has been sold into our minds and you know since we're a little girl yeah so, you, you know, know we grew we grew up seeing our moms paint their lips mm -hmm. but we've taken it to a whole nother level social media, media. Yeah. Yeah. Social media worse yes. now. And then you there's a the look that they're trying to sell yes yes right now mm -hmm. the whole content the oil ball the kim yeah. kardashian the yes. kind of look yeah so you don't even want to embrace your brown face like me when i'm, I'm like to I hate that. I hate that because I hate when they do that extra because you <laughs> have it naturally. Maybe money. like a so people take Botox and injections to have their face look like this, like look really. I used to hate it. Big tight. cheekbone. Mm -hmm. Hey, people but I love it. it. Now, yeah. I know that's a funny thing too. Yes, and, and they highlight their cheekbones to bring it. You know that to give that illusion of a cheekbone. Meanwhile, mm -hmm. you know. But I think basically we just need to be more confident and mm -hmm. just like you said. Um, we need to learn to embrace ourselves, embrace mm -hmm. our flaws, like find out exactly where you are lacking. Mm -hmm. And if you have flawless skin, 
it's actually achievable. You, if the moment that your skin is flawless, you can actually see yourself going out without makeup. And that begins with allowing your skin breathe. Mm -hmm. Sometimes yes. you need to go makeup free and be confident. And then think about the time you take to put all that makeup on. That time, if properly invested, you would have started one business. Yes. Oh my God. Oh, so. mm -hmm. It's true. Put it together. Yes. If you're doing one hour a day, 365 days, an hour, do the math. That's like a lot of time. And if you so, go makeup free for a week or two weeks, you see the difference. Yes, yes. 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 it glows. Yeah. Exactly. It glows. It's true. It does glow. Basically, you need to keep your skin clean and allow your skin to breathe. Now, we love makeup, we wear makeup as well, but there are those times when you need to allow your skin breathe so your, your pores are not clogged. Now, at this point, we're going to take a quick break and Girls on Cut will be right back. Now, don't forget, you can join the conversation on our Instagram and Twitter. We are at Girls on Cut underscore. My name is Chinon, so everybody, and I'll be right back with my lady, Arike, and Beverly O. See you soon. It's still girls uncut. Ow! And of course, we have a lovely question from one of our lovely viewers out there. And of course, you can join in on the conversation at girls uncut underscore Twitter and Instagram. And we have a question from Megan, and she says, I gained weight after my first baby, and I feel mm. so ugly. How do I regain my confidence mm -hmm. after seeing all these ladies lose their baby weight after three weeks? Mm. Hmm. It's a Girl, trap. First of all, <laughs> those, those three weeks, it's ladies, a, not all of them are real. Mm. Trust mm. me, some of them, especially the celebrity the ladies. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, how do they, how is it so flat? Because no, a lot of them do lipo. Like, they, as soon as they take out the baby, they take out the fat. Yeah, so, they talk about yeah. it. In. So don't let anybody deceive you and make it look so easy. The thing that people don't tell you about childbirth is that once mm. that baby comes out, your tummy is still big. Yeah. People think that the baby comes out and then your tummy just goes flat. It's a lie. It's a trap. Yeah. Don't believe anybody because there's a lot that has gone on here. Yeah. And, you know, it has to, it's, it's going to take time, but you'll be fine. And I always say this, never compare yourself to another person. Some people work out throughout their pregnancy. Like there's this girl on Instagram that dances. That when she was pregnant, um, yeah. some Kathy. Ta Takis, no, no Takis or something. Some, some beautiful yeah. lady. lady, she danced all through. So some people dance, some people work out, they do a lot of things. So bodies are different. The, the, the way someone else's muscles are going to you know, go back is different from yours. So you need to take, ta take your time. You'll be fine. You can work out as soon as your baby is you know, old enough to be left alone with someone else. Start working out. Um, you know, there are a lot of things you can do at home. You can do so many things at home. You can do sit-ups, you can do crunches, you, you can do so many things. But for me, I never, ever, ever let anybody put me under pressure. I'm not a gym rat. <laughs> I've never been one. Although after my third child, I started trying to go to the gym, but it didn't work out. My gym instructor is still looking for me. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't work out for me. Okay, yeah. well, so you'll be fine. You'll be good. Don't, don't, no pressure. Don't put pressure on yourself. Yeah, I'll just say that it took over nine months for your body to get there and make that baby. Mm -hmm. So you can't expect that it will take two or three weeks for your body to go back to mm -hmm. normal that's just impossible so you need to be patient don't put too much pressure on yourself and if you're like me i struggled because i was really skinny like literally a size zero and then boom mm -hmm. i just had this big body and i didn't know what to do like i was clueless i never had to diet i never had to go to the gym i hate to run so i was like what am i going to do with this new body and I just had to make it work. I had to, first of all, change my wardrobe because it can be really depressing mm -hmm. when you're trying to fit, in your, fit into your old clothes. That's yeah. like, it's very depressing. Like your pants mm -hmm. can't even mm -hmm. pass your thighs. It was horrendous. But I, be I began to embrace my flaws. And after a while, I just started working my body. And people would be like, especially people who didn't even know me when I was skinny, be like, you're perfect. I'm like, no, I put on so much weight. You know, sometimes it's just in your mind. Yeah. Give yourself time, breathe, and love your baby. 
When you look at the baby, you know that this child was worth it. Love your baby, love your body. Love your body. Embrace your new body. Yeah, so mm -hmm. moving on, I hope we got to answer your question. And if you do have any more questions for us, hit us up on our social media platforms. We are at Girls on Cut underscore on Instagram and Twitter. We're moving on and we are going social, social. ladies. <laughs> Hey, are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have this really, really interesting video for you. Uh, it will take just a minute to enjoy it. I like to talk on the answer machine as well, you know? She's one of those mums, everything is just exaggerated, you know? It's like, I don't know why, but when she calls my phone and leaves a message, she's talking to the machine like she's talking to me. Whenever I get the message, it's this long ass message like this. Hello, Jocelyn, it's your mother. Are you there? If you are there, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, please pick up, pick up, pick up. Uh -huh. I just want to ask you, how are you eating? Are you eating well? Because I just cooked you some Ogbono stew. Come and get it. It's waiting here for you. Uh -huh. Your brothers want to talk to you because they said it's very urgent. You have to call them. It's very urgent. And, oh, Jocelyn, uh -huh. I saw your friend, that girl from school. What's her name? Uh, ah, I can't remember her name. Oh, uh, what's her name? Uh, ah, is it uh, is it Carol? No. Is it Jane? Ah, that's a boy's name. No, that's not her name. Uh, ah, Jane. Uh -huh. That's her name, Jane. She says she wants to call you because she just had a baby. I know, dirty girl. So, if you can call her, you know, ah, oh, Jocelyn, I'm so tired, you know. I'm so tired. My back is hurting me. My legs are hurting me. Ah, who is that outside at my window? Anyway. Wait there for me, somebody's at the door, wait there. She go! Leave the phone off the hook, come back and say, ah, Jocelyn, I answered the door and it was you, so goodbye! Well, ladies, have you ever had a friend who just refused to get yes. off the phone? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I think everybody has that one friend or two friends. Who oh, like family that. members or sometimes. Family. My sister is like that and I'm like that to her as well <laughs> sometimes. Shout out to her. <laughs> And the thing about Nigerians is that, I mean, Af I don't know about other parts of Africa, but the thing about Nigerians is that they like to greet. Yeah. So they can greet you when you're eating. They can greet. They, uh, they will ask for everybody. everybody. Even when you're trying to get off. Like, when, even when I'm talking to my mom, at times I'm trying to get off the phone. And she's like, oh, your auntie is here. Hold on. I'm like, ah! <laughs> That's so true. Yeah, I hate that part. Even when you know it's like, <laughs> no, I'm not here. But they just won't hear. My goodness. But it's all Bentley, love. It's you've all had love. that experience, I'm sure. I just say, girl, I gotta go. I don't have time to present. I say, girl, okay. Tomorrow I'm so tired. Just tell them the truth. You're talking too but much. But even when you say you're tired, sometimes they keep going. <laughs> they be yeah. like, oh, hang up well, and say network. Well, like this video, the, the guy yeah. was like, okay, I have to go. And she's like, no, oh, oh, it's a mess. Yeah. Just keep going. Sometimes they don't even get it. Okay. And I have, I have an aunt who's like that to me. And she's always like, ah, what of this? She, what of this? Because you, she's already asked about everybody. And she's like, oh, remembering one random person. And you're like, auntie, please, no, I'm going to walk. <laughs> It's crazy, but it's always fun. It's yeah. love. It's all love. It's love. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's all mm -hmm. love. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And on that note, we have come to the end of this episode of Girls Uncut. You can join the conversation by following us on Twitter and Instagram at Girls Uncut underscore using the hashtag Girls Uncut. Let us know if you have ever gone makeup free. Let us know how you felt when you went makeup free. And mm -hmm. we always say this, I said this earlier, on, be comfortable and confident in your own skin because you're the owner of your skin and you're the only one hmm. that can own that skin. So own it, girl. Mm -hmm. Girls, bye. Let's say bye. Bye bye. bye. Till next time. Bye.